Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play the Magical Land of Waz. Today, I am back in the town, um, and we're just gonna go talk to these people and see, uh, does it have anything new to say. Oh, it's the bow guy! Hey, you're that reckless little kid that ran off. So, has your opinion of me changed now? Uh, thanks for your help. I'm sorry for all the mean stuff I said. Ha, don't even worry about it. That was nothing compared to what comes out of Leona's mouth. <laughs> yeah, so most of the people just say things like, you know, uh, thank you for saving us. Uh, that sort of stuff. Nothing major. Um, over here we do have some new weapons that we can buy, so let's check it out. I want to buy an ice bow for shot. Uh, a brand dress for Leona. Brand suits for everybody else. So three of these guys. You're not really hurting for money or anything right now. Two fur hoods would be nice. And that should be it. And I'll put those off screen. Um... Yeah, we're going to be going back into that cave. I just kind of, you know, worked out of there. We're going to be going back in there later on today because there is more to that cave to explore. And Derek and Fuma were talking about Maeve, so we need to go find her. I heard from a traveler about a temple called Kamakura to the east. Apparently, it's now surrounded by a very high wall. I wonder what happened to the people inside. Hmm, I don't really know. All the parents escaped out of those prisons and everything. There's one more thing that we can do in here. Uh, and that's go through this secret door right here. And we find a cat! Meow! Oh, how cute! This cat, have we seen one like it before? Hey, isn't this one of Yoria's cats? We should take it back to her when we have time. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip that equipment that I bought, and I'm going to meet you back at Yoria. Back at the Wind Shrine, the easiest way to get here is to just warp over to Northen, and then just head north uh, from there. Yeah, I want to put the switch. And we're here to return that cat that we just got and see what great prizes await us. Can't wait. Thank you for looking for my cats. Here, kitty kitty. Wait a moment. Take this in return for your help. This is Eoria's rod. Please come back and visit me again. Okay, so we got a rod. Nice. Um, I think that that's for Medisto. Yeah, it's gonna be for Medisto. Eh, okay, well, good enough. Anyway, I'm gonna meet you back where we fought uh, Derek and Fuma the last time to head up and try to find me. I'm back. We're just gonna head up these stairs over here. And we're on a secret island. Ooh, what do we have here? A gold tiger and an Elemos. Okay. I don't have my um, beast cherry up, and I probably should remedy that. But, uh, oh yeah, they're kind of weak to bomb. That's good. 600 damage apiece, not bad at all. Um, I probably should disequip Shot with his Ice Rod, maybe give him that triple bow back, because these guys are probably uh, pretty much immune to ice because they aim in a cold area. But, uh, we'll see how it works out. It should, I mean, it gets you know, 30 more attack power than the next highest bow, which is nice. And the triple bow is doing, eh, it's okay. I mean, its attack power is now half of... Ooh! Oh, that sucks. Okay, yeah. So it deals... So, so the ice bow just deals regular physical damage, but it has the added effect of maybe casting an ice spell on the enemy after it hits, which is kind of nice, kind of like Leona's weapons. Okay, let's head on inside. The Witch's Hall. And we're going to go over here to the right before we even head inside. Step on this teleporter. And get into a battle. Let me, uh... Hold on a second while I open up my beast cherry. Okay, I'm back. And, you know, the fights just keep on going on. Um, we have a prophet here who has only 10 HP. It skills magic mask, and it has no weaknesses, so... Kind of strange. Um, what was the other guy? I don't remember. The, the Choco Man, I think, has 430 HP, skills adhesive, and speak to fire. But anyway, here we're going to grab the Maria Ring. Let's check that out see what it does. Ring uh, raises Leona's luck by 200 points. It's really nice. That will help with criticals and things like that. Um, Shot still has his Pegasus. I gave both Silveras to Chun, and I ended up giving his Sonic over to Medisto for the added agility boost, which he'll need for healing coming up. So anyway, let's get out here, and then head over 
into the Witch's Mansion proper. But here we have some witches that we need to go ahead and fight. They have 1000 HP, their skill is Shiver, and they're weak to Bomb and Earth. Uh, I would say the majority of the enemies here are weak to Bomb, so I'm going to uh, probably just end up using Bomb pretty much the entire time, because it is multi-target, and that way I don't have to switch, um, switch Chun's attack around or anything like that. I mean, 700 damage per enemy is nothing to sneeze at, so that's pretty nice. Okay, took care of them. Let's move on. Let's head on over. And then we're going to go inside the Witch's Mansion. Mapes Mansion. Mapes Home. Looks like it has those little dinosaurs from, like, Super Mario World. I don't know. So anyway, we can go over here up these stairs, check the statue. And we get our HP restored. And over here we have a Prophet. Prophets have 610 HP. They are weak to nothing, and their skill is Magic Mask. So, uh, they're pretty easy enough to take care of. Yeah, no problems there. But, uh, let's go over here. Let's go inside the central room, too. This place is a pretty high... Ooh, who's this? Hee 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 hee! Welcome to the Witch's Mansion! I've got you now, Maeve! What interesting kids you are! I'll enjoy playing with you for a long time to come. You'll find me if you have the courage to plunge into the flames. I'll take such good care of you when you arrive. Hee 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 hee. The courage to plunge into the flames. I wonder what she's talking about. Okay, over here we have Turbo Gear, and we also have the Choco Man, but I kind of think that we've seen them before. Anyway, Choco Man, 430 HP, skill adhesive, weak to fire. And the Turbo Gear, 430 HP, Turbo pushes a skill. We do Lightning, Wind, and Earth. I'm pretty sure we saw them. Probably in like Mount Shin or somewhere else. But hey, they're new here, so I'll show them. Why not? Nothing for me to show them. It's actually easier for me to show them than it is not to show them. Editing these things out is a pain in the ass. So anyway, we go over here. Check this little dinosaur Super Mario World statue. And our MP is restored. Woo! A treasure hoard. And here we have Wizards. Wizards are probably the hardest enemy in here. They have 2,100 HP, so a lot of HP. Their skill is Silver Light, as you see here, which changes uh, their parameters, whatever that means. Yikes. And they're weak to a lot of different elements, though, which is kind of nice. Um, let's just go ahead and use Bomb and all that crap. Okay, they're weak to Fire, Ice, Lightning, Wind, Bomb, and Earth. So, lots of stuff that they're weak to. Which, although they have, like, double the HP of everybody else in here, all those weaknesses make them easier to handle. So that's always nice. I'm just gonna fast forward through the rest of this battle, because this is taking far too long. There we go, perfect. Okay, let's check out all these treasures. We got here a magic rock. Witch drops. Psychic drop. Tower metal. Intelligence drop. Those drops are really nice. And a magic drink. Drops, you can use them as an item, and they increase your stats, kind of like seeds in the Dragon Quest games or tabs in the Chrono Trigger games. So we're going to go over here to the right, and down over here, ooh, there's a treasure, perfect, get in there, a potion X, and there should be another treasure on the left hand side of the room. I wonder what Maeve meant by having the courage to walk into the flames. I don't know. Well, let's just grab this treasure chest and then we'll think about that later. A shell earring. Oh, that could be good. It says that the shell earring protects from cold, so I went ahead and gave it to Leona. Yeah, it's an earring, so why not? So anyway, dive into the flames? Why not? I got the courage! Now I'm playing with power! <laughs> Haven't heard that since I was a kid. <laughs> Just be on those Nintendo commercials in the back of the Nintendo Power. 
Looks like we're almost through here. Let's just go down this long, narrow hallway. I wonder if the designers in uh, Final Fantasy XIII had anything to do with this game. I don't know. Ooh. Things are getting symmetrical now, you know what that means. It's boss time! Make sure you're all healed up, ready to go. I am. We've been expecting you. Fuma! I apologize, but this game ends here. I won't let you lay one finger on Mistress Maeve. Ugh, these two losers again. They are exactly the same as last time. Except this time, it's even easier to deal with because you're more leveled up. So, I'm actually going to cut this battle out because it's, uh, I swear to God, it's the exact same thing. Much easier because we're all healed up and everything. We, we had about three or four levels gained and everything, so it wasn't hard. Nobody died. It was so much easier. Just again, use Bomber, use Parashot. Whenever the first guy dies, use the Wind uh, Magic. So anyway, I'm going to heal up and head up these stairs. It's imperative at this point that I have about 600 Magic Tees. You need a lot of Magic Tees uh, to make sure that you keep up with your... You know, they really shouldn't have random battles between Derek and Puma and Maeve. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> you came. I'm so pleased. Welcome, children. I'll take good care of you all, especially you, little girl. Don't be afraid. It will all be over soon. <laughs> okay, so here we have Maeve. Um, we're going to use Parashot. Leona is going to attack. Chun is going to use... Uh, let's try Raw Burn. Beaks from the inside. Why not? And, uh... I'm going to have him attack later on. Well, he'll attack for right now, but I'm going to have him uh, heal pretty much every single turn. Yikes! So she's using wind magic against me. Yikes! Yeah, he's going to be healing every single turn. <laughs> Ooh, that a bomb effect. Nice. Let's see how this raw burn does against uh, me. Okay, 665. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ooh, 1,000 with this power shot. Nice. Uh-oh. Why am I frozen? Sorry about that. For whatever reason, my computer froze up. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It really bugs me. I don't know. I need a new computer. My computer sucks. I'm, I'm not doing this on a desktop. I'm actually doing this on a laptop, which is on my lap, uh, laying on my bed. Um... And the reason why I have to do it on my bed, because I'd much rather do it in the office at, at, at my desk, um, is because this computer has to be plugged in to work. The battery is faulty, and it does not charge. So it's at a 0% power, so it only works if it's plugged in. If it's ever unplugged, it dies. So I don't ever really want to move it. So it just sits here in my bedroom, and I can bring it, you know, with a cord from my bed or over to a chair. But I don't like doing this on a chair either, because, you know, the chair could rock back and forth. I could move, you know, it could cause all sorts of audio issues and things like that. I'd rather just be still, laying in bed, and doing it that way. Um, you know, and it works out nicely, because, you know, I don't have to come near the office or anything like that. Or go into a different room where it could bother me. Um, but... You know, it, I just need a new computer. It, it's just, it, it has some slowdown, it freezes every once in a while. It's just a piece of shit. And the thing is, it's not that old. It's like two years old. I bought it at Fry's Electronics two years ago, and it's just a freaking piece of shit. Yikes! 1,000 damage. But we're actually doing pretty good. Um, to counter that 1,000 damage, I'm going to have Leone use a potion X. But anyway, I'm still doing the exact same thing. Always curioing. Always use the fire spell. If, if something big like that happens, have Leona go on healing duty with Potion X. Uh, always use Power Shot. If anybody runs out of MP, have Leona heal him up. So I'm going to cut the rest of this battle because it's the same Not thing. bad. Only had to skip about seven more rounds. So I'll get some levels there. Nice. I like how the level gains in this game are big. Like you get like 100 HP on a level up or shot gains like 14 strength. You know, it's, it's a lot nicer. You, you, you feel like you're making more progress than in Dragon Quest where you gain, like, you know, one staff point. Stupid children. You'll never beat Balaam, no matter how hard you try. Let's go tell the Fairy Queen we finished me. 
Important news! Terrible news! That's Sullivan's bird. I have important instructions from Master Sullivan. What the bloody hell is this thing? Isn't that Sullivan's messenger raven? Important news! Terrible news! It's a letter. You've acquired Sullivan's letter. There's a crisis in Endetta, the land of the three holy beasts. It's said that the three holy beasts from the foundation that supports the land of Waz. And now Balaam has attacked the three castles on Endetta, the continent where they live, in an attempt to destroy them. If the three holy beasts are killed, Endetta and the rest of Waz will crumble into the ocean, and nothing will be left but seaweed. Please, protect the three strongholds of Endetta from the forces of Balaam. Normally, the strongholds are close to strangers, but they'll trust you if you show them this letter from me. The path to Undetta begins in a cave far to the south of Mount Shin. You're the only ones with the power to stop Balaam. We're all counting on you. Well, looks like that's where we're headed to next time on Let's Play the Magical Land of Waz. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.